It was an Indian summer turned into an Indian fall as the Hananiga Indians. Yeah, they took hold of the Nick Ten lead in week one with a convincing win over Jefferson. They followed that up with another convincing win over Harlem. And they just kept going there, Reagan. <laughs> it's all Hananiga Indians. The only team that gave them a battle was Boylan in week six. So tonight, the Gatorade was ready on ice for a celebration for the Indians. One more win against Auburn, and they would be the outright conference champions. This game was played at Wyeth Stadium. Auburn is playoff bound after last weekend. 6 6 tie in the second. Second, Isaiah Huey will grab the lead for Hananiga. Auburn needing a spark late in the half. They're going to get it with Terry Horton on the kickoff return, finding holes, breaking tackles, and getting great field position for the Knights. Now the Knights trying to capitalize. Anthony Purifoy airs it out downfield, and Leonard Spates is going to grab it and shake a defender to answer. That was quick. Now, however, too much time left on the clock. Under a minute for the Indians. Cole Warren scrambles, steps up, and throws it to Joseph Melcher. Hey, you're going to have to tack on a face mask call there, and that'll add some extra yards. Eston Victor now with the handoff, and he will fight to the goal line. That's a touchdown. Hananiga was up seven at the half. Auburn ran out of gas, though, as the Indians added 21 more and answered points to take it 40 to 12. The Indians at 9-0 are outright conference champs. Um, it's very satisfying, but tonight we did not play our best football. You know, it's a little bittersweet because we could have done better. I know it was 40 to 12, but none of that matters if we don't do it in the playoffs. You know, I mean, winning the Nick 10 championship, uh, crushing every other opponent in the Nick 10 is, is huge for us, yeah, but it doesn't mean anything if we don't do it in the playoffs. But um, it, it's very satisfying to know like how good we are, but it, it's not over. It's so satisfying, especially coming off of last year, uh, it's even the off season, just working my, my working my working myself off, like in li lifting room, weight room, just uh, in the team together, and, and losing to Boylan and Belvedere North, and coming out and just clearing the conference, it, it feels great. Last season, I think, was kind of a precursor to this one. We knew that these guys were a special group. We knew that uh, they had a lot of talent. Um, for them as juniors to get stronger and more physical and um, to learn the game a little bit more, um, I think that that was outstanding for their senior season. They just did a great job this season. And the man we all live to hear from, obviously, Tim Bailey. He joins us now. You know, Hananiga didn't let off the gas tonight at Auburn, but maybe a questionable halftime score there, 19-12. to 12. We weren't expecting that. You know, we heard a lot of, from them in, in what they wanted to do, you know, preseason, obviously, outright championship. What did you see from them tonight? And just how hard is it to run the table like they did in the conference this year? Well, you know, um, big congrats to Hananiga. Um, they played, they've done a phenomenal job all year. Um, you know, there, there's a reason why they're the Nick 10 champions, um, because they've executed on both sides of the ball, uh, well-coached team, and they have playmakers. Um, but to answer your question, um, you know, tonight, you know, it, it was sort of shaky in the first half. Uh, you know, 19-12 halftime, Auburn played really well. Um, you know, Hananiga came out, second half, different team. Um, during halftime, I was near the sideline uh, where they took their halftime break at, and the coach, one of the coaches came out, and he was galvanizing the guys and just, you know, told me, why are we playing to their level? So they came out, second half put together a good drive, and then from there on, second half, it was pretty much all Hananiga. Auburn had no no uh, answer for Hananiga tonight. Yeah, I don't think anybody from Hananiga was at all satisfied with their performance tonight. Now, Auburn, from their perspective, they knew it was a tough assignment, so what, if anything, does this game do for the Knights as they go into the playoffs? Does, does it help them get better, or... Is it maybe a momentum loser or a confidence loser? I, I think it. I think it helped. It helps them actually in the long run because you know they they played a, a really good team tonight in Hananiga, and Hananiga is going to be a high seed in that seven eight class. So Auburn's got to be really feeling really good about really how they played in the first half. Second half they didn't play too well. What Auburn needs to do, they need to come back. You know, watch film, um, uh, correct their mistakes, um, and be ready for the playoffs. I mean, everybody's no one's five and four. In the playoffs, it's zero and zero. I mean, you're O and O. No one's won a game. No one's lost a game yet. So Auburn has life. They have a. I think they have a chance. They just need to come back now and just clean these mistakes up that they made tonight. And I think they can actually stay in a game in the playoffs. 